Good morning, welcome back. It's super early right now, it's like 7.50 or something. I've been awake since 5 a.m. today. I don't know what it is about these American trips. I, I get like I don't get jet lagged where I'm like ill and sick and feeling feeling bad. But when I'm in the States, I always have this thing where I wake up super early and I just can't sleep and then I get so tired when it gets to like 7, 8 p.m. But instead of just sitting in bed, um, doing nothing. Well, I was watching the Open to be fair, the golf major, which is really nice, but I'm off to get a bagel and a coffee. And I'm like, you know what, let's eat, enjoy the morning in New York. And uh, worst case, I can have a nap after that if I can fall asleep. Because I just want to make sure I got energy for this weekend, man. Here's New York in the morning. I'd love to see what it would be like actually at like 6 a.m. What I keep like realizing or understanding here is that there are so many people. And in London, I'm always like, where do these people come from? You know, because like, obviously there are loads of buildings in London, but like, if you were to look at New York and you're like, where are all these people coming from? I mean, how many people does that building fit in? I mean, look at, look at, okay, look at that office right there, okay? Like some tables in there. Now look at like that whole building. And then there's one there too. And then there's one there too. And then there's one there. It's, like, it's just so much taller than London. It's insane. It's actually insane, man. In London, I'm always thinking where they come from, but here I have no doubt where these people are coming from, you know? I mean, look at this. Little squares here, look. That's really nice. What is that? A coffee in that? I don't know. Really cool. I like it a lot, man. I feel like I would love to come back here and not stay in Times Square and try and check out the quieter parts of New York. I think Laura and I did like a bit of traveling when we came um, to some, not rural parts, but less busy parts, like not Times Square. But I'm only here for two days. So I wanted to make the most of just like the, the main bits and the pizza and stuff for you guys. Even though, the, you know, let's not talk about the pizza. I gotta come back and do that again, I think. The random Manchester City store in the middle of New York. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Bizarre, man. The best team. What? The best team in all the land, in all the world. That's crazy. Wait, can you hear this? What's going on? Sorry for the audio as well, by the way. There's no mic right now. I haven't set up for the day. I haven't set up for vlogging. I just grabbed my phone and left. We'll keep listening. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. Do you hear that? Screaming? Cheering? I'm in the same building again that I was at the other day for getting coffee. Oh, I'm sick here. It's a bunch of food places. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. Bagel shop. Let's get it. Bagel acquired. Let's go. Now it's a spot to eat this. And we're back where we started. Let's go. I don't know what that is, but look, it's like that's where the screaming's coming from. Not gonna lie, that bagel really wasn't that great. It was like cream cheese and dill with salmon. Oh, it wasn't the best, but yeah, it is what it is. To be fair, maybe it was just the flavor that I didn't like. Maybe it wasn't the fault of the place I went to. It was probably just the flavor, but yeah. Go back to the hotel now. I'm gonna try and just nap. I feel like sometimes when you get out and get back again, it helps, so we'll see. It's still really nice to be out though fresh this morning. I know it's not that early, but uh, it feels nice. I'll check with you in a second. If I've slept, it'll be a miracle. All right, so just finished up planning some Pokemon videos that I'm gonna film at the convention this weekend, and also some like cards and packs that I'm gonna buy at a decent like price point. But I thought before we leave and go to New Jersey, we'll do one last lunch in New York, or one last little afternoon excursion. And I'm gonna take you guys and myself to this place called Ichiran, or I think it's Ichiran, or Ichi, Ichiran which is actually a really interesting like ramen place. I went to it in Japan, in Tokyo. But apparently they have one here as well. And I saw it on the way in, and I saw it on my phone. And I thought it'd be really cool to kind of showcase that in the vlog. So let's do that now. I've dropped my bags off at the hotel. Um, I'll go back and get them in a minute, but yeah, let's do this. New York looking just as New York-y as possible. All good, man, all good, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> let's go. Will do, will do. Oh man, guys, he said make sure you like and subscribe, and I said will do, will do. He was talking to you guys. I should have said, yeah, my man, let's go. Damn straight, but I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I'm, I'm getting too old for this, man. I'm not gonna lie. Right, here we go, it's Ichiran Times Square. It'll be interesting to see how this like compares to Tokyo. Well, I haven't filmed Tokyo for you guys, but I've been there. I can't believe I went to Japan and everything and didn't vlog it. I wasn't vlogging back then, you know. I only recently started vlogging if you really think about it. Got the regular noodles. I don't want the extra toppings. I've got tonkatsu ramen, which that's what I have at home. Hello. Go ahead to the right side of the table, six and seven. Sure. Anyone four and five? Five. All right, here we are. The only downside to this camera is that it's not wide angle, and I did get the wide angle little lens for it, but I dropped it and left it when I broke my last one. But yeah, so this is kind of like the concept. You just sit in this little container. You don't see anything through there. Although, when I was in Tokyo, you just saw nothing. Like, I can already see like a lot of stuff over there. But in Tokyo, it's like the... I don't know, it's like the different. I couldn't see anything last time. Now I can see things. But you're on your own, there's got the little, little booth though. 
kind of cute. I came with a friend last time in Japan and just didn't talk. <laughs> He's actually kind of good, you know. Pretty little rusty there, looking. I just to take it and go make the food and then give it back to you. I also had like a little tap in Japan, like a tap here where you could just keep refilling water. I guess not here. Maybe they'll refill it with this. Hey, this is your first Hello. time here. Uh, yes, in New York, yes. Okay, what do you sub, sir? It will be at your back. Mm -hmm. And if you need assistance, I would like to order more. Push the call button right here. Okay, okay. sure, sure. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, this wasn't last time. This was all like always covered last time. And they just opened it, pushed the food out, and closed it again. That's why I can see more now than I did last time. We're seeing a lot of self serve. Uh, Alright, cheers, guys. Let's go. I'm actually really hungry as well, so I'm going to do eat noodles. I love ramen, by the way. Ramen's probably one of the most ordered things I have at home as well. It's like 10 pounds and it just comes really quick. I know 10 pounds are a lot for ramen because you're just making it yourself, but I'm going to order a good room. You know, something tasty that's not too bad for you. I'll go for, for ramen, you know. But, uh, yeah, alright. I'll uh, shout you out on the food here. No tipping establishment. That's what I like. As a UK, it's meant as a Brit. It feels a bit of a sin to order Diet Coke at this place, but screw it, man. I'm in America, and here's my egg. There you go. Let's get a nice pour in this, guys. Pretty solid, boys and girls. Cheers again. Can you guys hear the beat right now? Behind me. I'm trying to do a freestyle in this place, okay? Oh, yo, yo, alright. The beat always ends, I'm gonna try and come into it. Okay, alright. I'm gonna try and catch the beat again. I thought you were serving food since I start. Alright, yo, yo. That's what we're playing at the end of that. To eat some ramen. I used to watch Star Park with Cartman. Now I'm in here, I'm gonna eat the fried egg. I'm doing what I want. Oh, I have my trap. I've seen Jake, don't put that in. Do not put that in. Thank you. Yeah, I was so bad speaking different languages. He just vibed me. And like, he's even got like the language on here. Like, I know what it is. I got to go Simon. Wait. There you go. I got to do go Simon. So I, I, can't, yeah, I can't do that. I have to speak the language in my accent. I can't do like that. I have to go like, I got to do Here's the food, here's the raw, and I can't imagine it's obviously as good as Tokyo, so I'm not going to judge it with that in mind. Let's get the egg going. Top. Very nice. I need to make more like soft olives, I think. Hard olives. Like, which is the one? What's this one called? Cool. Definitely made a mess of that. Big time. Guys, it's so hot right now. Nice Taiwan. So good. This might be top like five foods of all time. Top three foods of all time maybe. Not this place, but like just in general, wrong. Actually, really you higher. In terms of like price, accessibility, able to make it at home, and the quality of when it's good at a restaurant, up there man. It really is. Alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy some minutes. I'll check with you in a sec. Sorry guys, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. It's actually quite a messy dish, but it's a good way of going some colors and put it everywhere. But yeah, it's so good. I remember it being, I chose mild as you saw, but I remember it being super spicy when I was in uh, Japan as well. But that's where the flavor comes from, so I don't mind it, it's just that I do have to like involve myself. My nose runs, you know, feels hot, but in a good way. I think I've got to the bottom now, so I'm going to kind of do one of these, uh, these things. This is so good though. Definitely like the best lunch I could have had right now. A really good way to send off New York for me. Hi, there we go guys. Perfect lunch, perfect timing, perfect experience. What more can you ask for? And now it's sunny again. Uh, I always hate when I put my bags in like the hold in a hotel room or hotel. I always like feel empty and like I haven't got all my things secure, you know. My, my wallet's in my bag, everything else is in my bag, you know. But 
we good. Got the mic, got the camera, and uh, yeah, all right. Now on to New Jersey. Um, you get a cab for it, to be honest. Like a 40 minute journey. Um, I could get a train and stuff, but I'm trying to get straight to the hotel, the new hotel, and check in. Raised pizza. I wonder if that's any better than the one I went to. <laughs> I feel like I really messed up the pizza situation here, but next time, we'll get up next time, maybe. I still want to go to like Philly and Chicago and do all those different things as well. I'll probably do more research for those ones. This trip was sort of, not rushed, but I kind of assumed I could just come to New York and get a pizza and it'd be the best, you know? So that's like the, the whole point of it. I guess not. Also, everyone does keep telling me how good Joe's was when they had it, like my friends, my editors, which really sucks because like, I don't know, but the queue. I was going to say the queue was long, but this car's even longer. Oh, that's my ride for New Jersey, actually, guys. Just uh, get my bag and I'll be right with you, yeah? I swear my bag is so dead these days. Oh, real. All right, I got my bags. No joke, it's actually so heavy. The one on my back right now is crazy. I thought, guys, instead of getting a cow, which is like literally $150, can you believe that, by the way? $150 to go like an hour, which maybe makes sense. I'm not sure. Nah, it doesn't make sense. In London, it wouldn't be that at all. Anyway, I thought, let's be a real person, man, and just get the train, you know? Let's be responsible for once in my goddamn life. I think it's like a subway, two or three stops, and then we go to get a real train, like an actual train, to New Jersey. I know I've shown this so many times this trip, but yeah, it's really nice just to walk out onto all this. It's crazy how quiet the hotel is, and then you met with the hustle and bustle straight away. I think the station's this way, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I didn't bring a suitcase. That'd have been so much stress right now. Guys, you see that seller up there? The most seller portrait. That's been here since I was here last, which I think was in 2019, was when I came to New York last. That's been there the whole time. They must love seller here. The computer thing, the cloud strike, whatever it is, um, going down, it's messed up loads of stuff. I'm wondering if that's what's kind of messed the Uber system up. Is that right? I don't know, not sure not. But my hotel lobby, uh, I was just sat there planning how to get to New Jersey, and everyone there was just panicking, like the computer systems weren't working. They were having to like manually check people out. Um, it's kind of interesting and funny how something, well, not so, this is a big thing, it's not a small thing at all, but how much we take for granted, all these different things, you know? This place right here is where Laura and I used to come for lunch when we had the trip. This place was so good, the sandwiches were unreal. You guys come to New York, go to Majestic, they're like a Tessang cafe. Wait, that's it, right? They're like a Tessang. I don't know. Literally a block down from my hotel is where we stayed, because I recognize all this stuff now. The Applebee's over there, we ate there. Kind of crazy. Ah, right, here we go, downtown one across the roadway. Let's do this. It was saying the next train's in 30 minutes. I can't be right. I can't be right. So I left it. I think I was on the wrong side. I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other side. That's a pretty good ad, I can't lie. Yeah, props, mate. Here we go. I don't have a this camera right now, so jokes. Can you see it? <laughs> in the reflection. I will be honest, wearing this camera actually might be quite sick. I'll probably get like a strap for my backpack. All right, we try again. Well, I can't move with this backpack on. All right, South Ferry. There we go. Woo. All right, here we go. I almost missed the stop. All right, here we go. This way. All right, now what does all this mean? I am from here, so. Hmm. It's crazy how many places have the same name as England. Look, Brent was there. What else is there? Well, it's just Brent was there. I played golf there. Oh no, guys. This is a distraction. Racing canes. Goodness me, and Shake Shack. What? That's not fair. We must continue. Right, New Jersey, how do I get there? All right, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. This is what I need. Jersey Ave, 307. Welcome to New Jersey Although we laugh at like, the UK train system, but I actually think it's better than this. This sucks. Where am I going? My chuchin. One way. Adult, one. All right, that's a way too long. There we go, that's what I need. 307. I wouldn't even take contactless, that's a, my opinion. What I will say though is $13 instead of $150, so we'll take that. We'll have to Uber from the other side though, like when I get to the station, um, that's fine. Well, there was a mad rush when the train got uh, announced to platform 13. Everyone screwed. I was already on the way. I saw like a sign saying 13, so I started moving. And the tannoy came on it was like now platform 13 everyone starts sprinting i'm like guys i'm not even from here and i'm already beating you to the tracks sorry that was very david brent but it was intentional by the way so it wasn't really it, was, it became intentional after i realized it was sounding that way but not, i'm not trying to brag you know i'm not even from here guys i'm not you know <laughs> i'm doing it again because i'm this is a double death that's crazy okay let me get in let me try it in i can't believe it in a second no Top mate, but it's like double deckers in Europe too. It's like not UK, but Europe, Europe. Oh, these seats are mad comfy here now. Party castle. Probably should bounce on the seat like that. Next to the window as well, so I can look out on these streets of NY and NJ. But yeah, I'm gonna book out. I'm gonna get Kindle out, guys. I'm gonna read it on the train. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, great view, man. The windows are shining there. Alright, here we are, off at the stop, whatever that says. Let's go. I almost missed that stop because, uh, well, I don't know, it's just kind of like, <laughs> wait, it's gonna, sound, <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid. The train just stopped. Like, it didn't start to stop, it just kind of like stopped. And then, and then I was like, okay, cool. It didn't look like it was a place to get out, but it, but it was. Where am I? Look at this, man. Taxi and limo. I'm trying to get an Uber, but like, damn, this is like proper American, you know? Like, where am I? Station police? Oh, station place, that's it, it's not police. Oh, it's hot today. It's real hot. Damn. All right, Uber in five minutes. I'm gonna go walk around this little town for a sec and check out what we got here. Shoe Vaticano Repair. Matuch Matuchin Taxi and Limo. Oh, look at that taxi, that yellow one. That's sick. <laughs> it's like a little town that you get in England. I don't know why I didn't think these existed in America, but obviously they would, right? Oh, nice, little high street. This is cute. Hartley's Heart and Pub. Hang in. I've got Guinness. I love Guinness right now. But, as I already mentioned, I'm not drinking. I don't want to go too far because I'm going to miss my taxi, but nice, this is cool. Just to give you guys an impression how hot it is right now, 29 degrees, which I feel like is the same as England right now. I heard that back home in London it's 30 degrees too, so there you go. Right, there we go, here's my cab in the white. Let's go. Nice one, thank you. How's it going? Here we go, next hotel guys, room tour as always. This one bigger, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I always get two beds. I don't ask for this. I always choose one large bed, but I always get two. Nice AC though, which is what I care about. And also do I have a desk here? I do sort of have a desk. Obviously when I come to these car shows, I like to film. So this is my desk set up, my Pokemon car set up. Pretty cool, I got some plugs in the middle, but yeah. All right, let me get settled in and chill and we'll go from there. On the way out to the uh, event now, I'm gonna pick up the pass and meet some people. Sam, if you remember him and the rest of them. Um, my hair, I just, I don't know my hair. I hate doing my hair, man. That's the one thing about this hair I hate, is just I have to keep doing it. With my other hair, I just tie it up. Easy, easy peasy. But yeah, getting the cab on the way to the exposition center. Expo, exposition? <laughs> expo. What, what, wait, what did it call? Expo, what does expo mean? All right, here we are, this is the uh, convention center. It feels tiny compared to the other ones. I'm into Houston. Oh, I'm into Houston, and I'm into Orlando. And this one is definitely the smallest so far. All right, we made it in. I see the people. Hello, hello, how's it going? Oh, what's good, what's good? Hello, mate, hello. Hello, guys, nice to see you again. Hello. What we got? Oh, my goodness me. How's it do right now? Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my gosh. It's not even started yet. I see, I see. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Hello. Oh, what's up, bro? How, How you doing? You good? I'm good, good to see you, yeah. Good, good to see you. you. Yeah, you know you I right, left the Collecticon. Didn't really stay there that long. We're in New Jersey now, like the actual hustle and bustle. My hotel's miles away. There's just nothing there. But look at this guy, it don't feel real. It's just like little, you know little small villages you get? On Hot Fuzz, you know little yeah. one on Hot Fuzz? It almost feels like sound of like Universal Studios. Yeah, this like, ain't, ain't real. This ain't real. There's nothing behind you. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> no, this whole place feels fake. Famous pizza. Oh my, the camera's on you. I'm, I'm, aiming, I'm aiming this way. It's, it's, it's on you. You got one of these, right? Yeah, that's it. I don't use it. I use, I use my phone. Right? Yeah. I use my phone mainly, but I've started using this. Look at that place over there. That's like some little hut. Some UK hut. Yeah, this place ain't real though. This place ain't real. Look at this, man. This is like a lightning real person. I thought it was. Oh, look, what's happening, guys? Bend up this spot here, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to not eat food, but we're here. Look at this. Bam. Oh my goodness me. It's like a nightclub. Fuck yeah. Grey Goose. <laughs> one, one, one bottle, please. That's got to be like 4,000 calories. <laughs> <laughs> what? 